Hi everyone, I'm Gwen and I'm going to show you some things I do that I've just started doing since I've started running uh, a lot more. I've needed to really strengthen my feet to keep those healthy and strong. So we're going to work on uh, the internal and the, the external part of the feet and what I do is I take a, a band, make a little loop and that I can put my foot through and then I put uh, my foot through the loop and make sure I cover the side put it around something sturdy that won't move and have some good tension on it. You want about a 90 degree angle. And I put my other foot under the foot that I'm working on so that um, the heel is off the ground and so I can move it. And what I'll do is I'll keep my foot as relaxed as possible um, and keep this foot at, or leg as relaxed as possible. Come out to the side, hold for a second and try to come back nice and slow. And when I first started doing this, it was very herky-jerky and um, not a smooth movement. So for me, I try to come out, hold for a second, and try to come in very slowly um, and without any um, big jumps. And I'll do this 20 times on each side. And I still sometimes have little jumps in my foot and I'm trying to eliminate that and trying to get more strength and the stronger you are the more you're able to have a fluid movement and if it gets to be too easy you can always increase the tension uh, move up a color in the band so once I do that 20 times I switch it to the other foot and we're going to do about the same thing but you're working on a different part so you know one of them is the internal foot and one of them is the external and again you put it underneath your other foot so you are able to move back and forth go out come back in slowly out hold for a second in back in slowly and with control This will work as well um, on your perineals, which for me um, got really tight when I started running a lot. So it strengthens those so you are able to, to run hopefully more injury free because once those are strong, hopefully they will help you and make you more powerful as you run. So after do that, um, I flip around and face the other direction so that I can get both the uh, internal and external on both sides. After I do both sides, I do one other thing for my feet and I'll take a band, cover my foot, and I have, I pull the band tight and with my toes, this works on your toes. I don't know if, you're, if you've ever been a swimmer and you get like crampy feet. Um, this might feel like that if you don't have uh, very strong feet and toes. So this is kind of what we're working on. And what I do is I curl my toes and I keep them um, curled as I bring my foot down to the ground nice and slow and make sure I still have those toes nice and tight and then bring it all the way back up and then once it's all the way back up, I release my toes up to the top and I do that again. And this can um, cause your feet to feel like maybe they're about to cramp, especially when you first start doing them. But I promise you with a little bit of uh, practice and you know, if you do it 10 times every day for, for a week even, um, they'll get way less crampy and just helps to, to strengthen all those little muscles in your feet. The key for this really is to try to hold your toes down the whole time as you bring your foot down and up. The tendency will be for you to kind of let go of that. So you really have to focus while you do this. Um, you know, a lot of times I like to do some gym things with my son Stanley, but this is one that uh, I can't really have him around because I have to be so focused um, on the technique. And I will only do this uh, 10 times on each side. I will do this about um, three to four times a week just to make sure that I'm keeping my feet nice and strong and that they're ready to go for their runs. Thank you.